Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 1st through the 15th, the longer reading for my Tauruses. Hello my Tauruses, how are you? Oh, hope all is well. Okay, so this is the longer reading and I use three decks. I use my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. This brings out the main message. Then I go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. This kind of fills in the gaps. And then we finish with my Osha Zen Tarot cards, which gives us kind of like, you know, what you need to know. You know, kind of some advice cards there. But I have prayed, meditated, and infused all decks with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? So let's get started. The only thing is, okay, well, for people that are coming to my channel for the first time, I am more of, I am an intuitive channeler, so I kind of hear things in my, you know, in my head and they pop out of my mouth. I do use the cards also, and I will show you the cards too, because sometimes you may see something and you go, well, that's not quite, oh, you really want to come out right away. That's not quite how I see it, Deb. This is what I'm feeling. And yes, you know, this is, this is how we work. We work together with this, okay? So, also, too, another quirky thing about it is then once the message is delivered, if I have, you know, it, it goes out of my mind. So, I do not revisit my uh, videos. Um, so, it, it's gone. It is not for me to, it's not for me to hold on to. Okay? I hope that makes sense, too. So, new moon, April 5th. It will be in Aries. So, watch out for some impulse spending. Okay? I'm just feeling like you might spend a little money at that time and then you know it might be really exciting it might be cool and then say why did i buy this i've done that you know uh, you know watching home shopping type of networks on tv and then you go oh why did i buy that but let's see one more card two cards have popped we're going to cut for the next also two reversed cards to me mean that it's a more um, powerful or it's more of a message for you to really pay attention to. Uh, some people will do reverse cards. Some readers do reverse cards as it means the opposite and that's right for them. Some people say that it does not mean any, does not have any difference or you know any different meaning and that's right for them. For me it's I found that when it's reversed it just means hey pay attention please I want you to watch me look at me okay. I've gone through a lot of different card decks to kind of feel which one helps and resonates with me, and these are the ones that I found. Okay, your first card is the Two of Fire. So fire, of course, is our Aries energy. We're in Aries right now, Aries season. Sagittarius and also our Leo. So this is you've come into your own. Oh, thank goodness. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. Oh, thank you, thank you, because... You have been having a lot of those little ups and downs too, okay? And when I say too, there's been some other signs that with this energy, these energies have been outrageous. So it looks like an actuality that you will be, you, it feels like things are actually going to be getting stronger favorably for you. And this is probably because we're getting closer to your birthday season, okay? So it feels like things are getting better, getting more, getting um, like favorable energies, okay? Be aware, we do have that Libra moon, which tries to balance things. We will have a Libra moon, full moon, these are the full moons, in April also. And again, you know, it tries to keep it balanced. But because it tries to keep it balanced, the things that are not beneficial or that are unbalanced are that come out okay so just be aware of that but this card to me this is saying that this is yeah we're we're coming into a time of you know where things start to come back to you okay i'm feeling like i'm feeling also too like there's tauruses out there that have given so much of themselves away and I, and this is not like Mercury retrograde, but this is but and it's like pieces are starting to return to you, 
okay? You know, when I say that, it's like, oh, I gave them my heart, I gave the peace of my mind, I gave, you know, but it's like pieces are starting to come back to you and you are actually feeling, you're feeling more integrated, okay? I'm feeling like, yeah, that this time, it's like you yourself, because you are earth and you are very grounded, you are actually feeling more grounded again. And it's like these pieces, you know, I'm feeling like there's Tauruses out there that says, oh, like, you know, like you wake up and you're feeling, I feel like me again, okay? I hope that that's, you know, I, I hope that th that resonates for some people out there. In some ways, I hope it doesn't resonate for a lot because I hope you always feel like you, but it's like you're coming back to who you are. You are coming back to who you are actually who you're meant to be. Yeah, I'm feeling this whole big, you know, this big spiritual um, enlightenment for you too. So, you know, but it's a, it's positive. It's not going to be those scary ones that's like, oh yeah, great, I'm going to be out in the wilderness for a couple of years. No, it's very, very positive and it's very empowering too. It's really very, okay, okay, so let's go on to the next one. The High Priestess. Now these cards, this card was face down, Archangel Heniel. And this is listening to your intuition, which we've talked about that for my Tauruses. High, high, high intuition. But it's again, I'm feeling like things are coming back to you. Wow. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. I'm also, you know, I'm when it says that, you know, I'm a big believer in what you speak out, okay? So, you know, and, and you know this. I'm a big believer to keep your words very, very positive because I'm feeling that this is that time that you should be able to actually start. When you are speaking it out, you are going to be manifesting it, okay? So I want you to know you're going to be, it's like you're speaking it out. Now, maybe it's not going to be within these 15 days, but it could come, I mean, it could come back, like it can come to you, um, years upon years later, okay? You know, I wanted curly hair as a child, and I didn't get it until I was in my 40s, okay? I was like, I want curly hair. My sisters and brother have curly hair. And then it came to me. So it doesn't always come to you when you want it, okay? But it does come. So I feel like this is going to be a very powerful time for you to speak out positive things. And yeah, it's really, it's going to be a very powerful time. Okay, let's go. This card is reversed. Let's see what this is. The Four of Earth, and this is your energy, okay? It's very grounded energy. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money, but good business decision. Giving to those less fortunate. So, you know, one of the things that I'm getting with this, so, you, you know, read that as it will be. Yes, I, you know, but as you're coming back to your, as you're, I, you know, again, it's, I don't know that you're coming back to yourself, but it's like you're integrating with yourself or integrating with your higher power. It can be a little unnerving, okay? It can be a little unnerving. I want you to trust it more, whatever it is. Remember, we talked the mind, the heart, the spirit, soul, intuition, whatever you want to call this piece. But I want you to trust it that connection more. Um, this, I'm feeling like, you know, as this is coming together, and it's not like you're waiting for the night, the other shoe to fall. I'm not saying that, but it's like you're, you're kind of like, well, maybe I'm going to choose not to do this because it feels a little weird inside of me, okay? Just, just be aware of that. Okay, let's go on now to the John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I always get that one mixed up just with the name. But let's see, this is going to be more the filler. So can you kind of clarify what this is about? Can you clarify for my Tauruses what, what, what this is all about? Okay, you kind of want to come out because you keep hitting my hand. Okay, can you clarify? Okay, let's cut the deck. See what we have. Two more. Okay, our first card, okay, it is reversed. Again, what I said about reversed is spiritual union. Okay, now this could be if you're looking for that, uh, you know, I do tend to talk about like relationships as it could be your career, it could be your family, it could be somebody that you're looking for. 
I actually, and so this could be one of those things. I actually feel like this is a spiritual reunion in, within yourself. I feel like you are, you know, like I said, I'm feeling very strongly that you're coming back, you're coming to yourself. And I feel that this is saying your spiritual union is with you. And I know a lot of my Tauruses have been on a spiritual journey and you have been phenomenal with that, okay? But it's like it's like those little pieces that maybe you've been feeling that haven't come back yet are now, but it's like, you know, I feel like little, you know, like little pennies, you know, pennies dropping type of thing and being caught, um, you know, and for the ones that haven't been on it, well, it is, it is coming, okay? So let's go on with our next card. Okay, this is reversed also. And this is suffering in silence. Now the interesting thing about it is it's falling on top of the high priestess. Okay, and, to, and this is the one, remember she said, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. Remember also about our four of earth that's kind of saying, yeah, but maybe I don't want to go there. So with suffering in silence, oh no, I don't want to look at that card yet. Um, with suffering in silence, it's, I, I, I mean, and it could be that, you know, I do know that there are many of my Tauruses that have been, had a lot of internal pain. I really feel like it's more you coming to grips with this new integration. I really feel that it's more that. And how do I, because it, it's real, this is the interesting thing for you. And, and it's, it's like, how do I live my life and still take back these pieces? Okay. And that is, that can fill you with a lot of angst. That can fill you with a lot of, um, like, how, how do I do this? Okay. So let's see what this last card is. The sacral chakra. And that is the chakra, you know, Sacral, um, and you know, I kind of, this is basically about, it's not necessarily about your security or your, um, you know, it's not like your base chakra or your root chakra. This is more about who you think you are and who you believe yourself to be and how you, you know, this is about your femininity, your masculinity. We all, men and women have both. We both have the feminine side. We have the masculine side. This is again about you know, who are we and who do we think we are? This is still in in that more earthbound type, that more grounding energy, okay? So it again, it comes back to, again, that this is going to be that time. Now, how is this going to affect your life? Yeah, it, it's like you look, I mean, you know, because you do still have to go to work, you still have to go to school, you still have to live, you still have to do things. And that's where it is. It's it's that integration between, you know, between the natural and the supernatural is coming back. You pulling your pieces back to see who you are and who you were meant to be, okay? So this is going to be a really spiritual journey for you. But again, I don't feel it's going to be as uncomfortable or that it's going to be as negative or that you're going to be out in the wilderness eating cactus, okay? I don't feel that. I think that you actually are getting this at a time that you are more prepared than you've ever been in your life. So I hope hope that's making sense. Now, for any kind of pieces of advice, my Osha Zen Tarot. So what advice are you going to give our Tauruses? What do they need to kind of look for, watch out for? Anything more to add to this? Okay, we're going to, oh, okay. Okay, we're going to cut now. One card did slide out. Yes, I do not prepare the cards. I do this right here with you. And the first card is consciousness. Okay, it's, it's, it's basically expanding your consciousness. It's being aware that this is going to be happening to many of my Tauruses. Okay, now... For you at this time too, I, you know, I, tr I put in in my description a little website link that you can go in, click on that, or you can go in and copy paste it, and it will tell you where you put your birth date in, time, and where you were born. It will tell you your influencing signs, okay? So if this is just too much for you, go take a look at that. You know, you know basically when you're 
when you're able, you want to look at your like your rising, your ascending, your moon, your Venus, and see those are like the main ones that you know you see how those all influence you. So if you have some other ones and you're like, oh, see, this is only going to be a little piece of me, but it is. This is a time of expanding your consciousness. The thing too, though, about like with work is you're. It's like you're going to be so aware. I mean, I can almost. I can feel that there's going to be some Tauruses. It's almost like you can hear people breathing in your workplace. That's how aware you're going to be to your environment. Okay, so let's see what this next card says. Ah, this is reversed, the outsider. Yeah, we talked about that wilderness. It's not as bad as you think it's going to be. But with my Tauruses, when you have such of a connection when you have this it is very easy for you to not feel like you are part of that group part of the living part of the natural okay it's very easy it's a, a very easy to feel that way but the thing about this card is here's this little guy looking in you know with this big chain around it but you know the lock is actually unlocked he could unlock it and he still could join so these are choices. When I talk to you, these are choices, okay? I have had it where I've had, it was like I'm going down this really big spiritual line. I said, no, I can't do this. I have to stop for a while. And then that's my choice, okay? Okay. So let's go on now here and let's see what this one is. Okay. Okay, postponement. So here, the person looks a little bit on the depressed side. <laughs> Looks a little bit washed out, you know, the grays and the, the, you know, just the shades of grays. But yet looking forward into that future, there is color. There is life again. So I think what this card is really saying to you is when, you know, when it gets a little bit too much. And should you choose to go down this journey? These are all your choices. Should you choose to go down this journey and accept this energy, this changing, that, you know, it's, this is just a, this is just kind of a temporary, that's the nice thing that I know about, you know, the higher power, um, divine, guardian angels, spirit guides, universe, is that it just, it, you know, sometimes it comes to us and it, it prepares us for now, and then it gives us a respite. Okay, it gives us some time to kind of integrate it even more, kind of get to see how do we live our life with this? Because many times I've been on, you know, so I've been, I've screamed out, how do you live? You know, I have to live here, you know, so please, you know, when you're downloading stuff, and I do look at some of these things as being downloaded, when you're downloading, you have to realize, you have to realize, I can only do and take so much. I am not you know, I am not, you know, this, okay, hope that makes sense for my Tauruses, hope that it makes sense that you have some understanding when these influences come to you, but again, it is always your choice, okay, okay, so my Tauruses, as always, know that you are loved, and be blessed, bye-bye, oops, down there, bye-bye.